Hey guys, in today's project I decided to build my own customized powerful power supply. To do my chemistry projects, I needed such a heavy duty power supply to respond my needs. So I started getting my hands into the plan to make my own power supply. I started with designing a short circuit protection for a module that I want to use to control output power of a constant power supply. I printed my design on a glossy paper and after transferring the toner with iron method, I started etching my PCV design with very colorite solution after peeling the paper. When etching process was done, I removed PCB from etching solution and I was really happy with achieving such a satisfactory result. Afterwards, silk screen been printed exactly in that same manner. Then I used a UV curing nail polish as a solar mask. After that been placed under the UV light to become completely cured. There we go, the solder mask been completely cured after just 15 seconds. Afterwards all component been soldered on the PCB comprising LM358 up amp IC as a main component. I use transistor and relay system. Of course you can use MOSFET in your design, but this design actually fits my needs. Next I hooked up whole circuit to test my short circuit protection that I designed. Spark here, but it disconnects the output. As you can see I'm using a 24 volt and 20 amp constant power supply being controlled with a bike converter of 300 watts and a dedicated bike converter for short circuit protection and cooling fans. Everything looked great so I started making an aluminum case for my power supply. I'm fond of using aluminum because it can be anodized color for a great fancy look. And also I made front panel for ampere and voltmeters. After marking everything needed, I start cutting the marks with a saw while lubricating with a solid soap. Forward lead of power supply is being anodized and you can see I just using a, a simple computer power supply and the upper is about 0.75 which is enough for this surface area to be anodized in about 45 minutes to 1 hour and you can see the bubbles are coming out I added some non-ionic uh, surfactant to give a better anodizing on the surface and break the bubbles. When anodizing done, I added some water soluble ink to the water plus some crystal violet dye which is used for gram staining of bacteria to give desired purple hint. And afterwards it's been sealed in the nickel salt solution. 
And here is the final result after being anodized coloring. Very nice, I like it. Since the computer power supply wasn't powerful enough to anodize the whole surface area of the aluminum casing of power supply, so I used that bug converter and that setup that I want to use in my power supply to anodize the main casing. This time anodizing ran on 12 amps. I added some ice cubes time by time to cool off system temperature. At the meantime, dye bath was prepared by addition of some printer ink to the water and being heated on the stove. Anodized part added to the dye solution to absorb color. And after 15 minutes, this is the finished look of our aluminum casing. Beautiful! Next color part added to the nickel salt path to become sealed completely. Normally I shouldn't been painting over the anodized aluminum. I decided to cover part with polyester based coatings to insulate the casing and also protect the color. After finishing the casing, we needed a stand to mount all circuit on it, so I decided to make a metallic stand. Then I made a suitable place for the shunt resistor. Shunt resistor placed on the stand and next I add a spacer to tighten whole circuit on the stand. Afterward fan place been cutted and fan been tightened at the place. Then I placed a dedicated cooling fan on the main bike converter. And the second bike converter added for the cooling fans and also short circuit protection. And short circuit protection being added on the stand. Next shunt resistor wiring being done. An output's been soldered and ready to be tightened to the front panel. And rubber legs been screwed at the corresponding places. Here's the finished circuit which is just needed to be placed into the casing. Next all sockets and wires been connected and all component been mounted on the front panel. And after plugging in, it seemed to work fine. Next, the back lid of power supply being screwed into the place. Then I did same for the front panel.
Afterwards, I added the guiding stickers on the front panel. Alright, it's done and seems great. I think it's a good idea to test it practically to see if it works. So I made a concentrated table salt solution to start electrolyzing. Next, I place electrodes into the beaker. Before I start running it practically, I decided to test the short circuit protection. After hooking the calipers to the electrodes, I start to draw the current into the solution. It works great and as you can see the voltage range is about from 1.5 to 27 volts and the output current was successfully 20 amperes at the maximum. It works fine and this is exactly what I needed for my projects. Alright guys, it's done and uh, I made this power supply with the specific properties to respond my needs for my projects, chemistry projects that I want to do in future because I got a lot of plans to work. So don't miss any video, make sure to subscribe. That's it, hope you enjoyed. Till next project, I'll be back soon.